Hello everyone, welcome back to Distributed Generation and Smart Grid Lecture Series. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, uh, SANETs or Sensor Actuator Networks. So in recent years, um, significant advances have been achieved in almost uh, research areas related to the uh, Sensor Actuator Networks. Uh, in its hardware development or architecture, operating systems, etc., there are a lot of uh, significant advances uh, happened in this area. So, sensor network uh, have enabled a range of applications uh, where the objective is to observe an environment and collect information about the observed uh, phenomena or events. So in many cases, uh, appropriate action must be taken upon the occurrence of a given event. Not only to sense the uh, event, we need to initiate the actions also. Example, uh, switching the light uh, of a room off when it has been empty for more than 5 minutes or switching light on when the presence of a human is detected. So, uh, we can uh, detect the presence of a human or we can de detect the absence of a human, but uh, we need to switch on or switch off the light. That is action there. So, we need to perform that action also. So, this uh, has led to the emergence of a new uh, generation sensor network um, called sensor actuator network or in a short form it is known as SANETs. So, that have a sensor nodes and actuator nodes. And sensor and actuators communicate and collaborate to perform mm, distributed sensing and uh, acting task. So, all of you know that a sensor uh, gather information about the physical world, while actuator makes decision and perform the actions that affect the environment. So, the actuators are enabled to change the parameters in their environment. Suppose, example, a temperature, mm, light, light uh, etc. As well as air, uh, even though the intrinsic properties like location, speed, volume, etc. So, the application of uh, uh, SANET include environmental application, example, mm, fire detection. And business application, even uh, you, you can manage their building or inventory management, etc. Uh, and even a health application like patient, mon patient monitoring, uh, then home automation and entertainment applications. So, so there are many applications for SANETs. So, this uh, particular figure shows the basic structure of a SANET. Uh, three types of nodes uh, you can see in this uh, SANET. Uh, these are sensor. Uh, you can see that is uh, denoted as a circle. Then a square as actuator. And uh, uh, the combination of sensor and actuator. Sometimes the single node can be act as both sensor and actuator. Uh, that is circle inside that is square. So it consists of sensor actuators. And uh, one main component is base station. Or uh, sometimes it is known as sinks. So sensors collect data from the environment. Uh, actuators perform the action based on the data collected by the sensors. Uh, this base station or sink monitors the overall network and communicates with the sensors and actuators to achieve the overall objective of the network. The base station is the main control station. So it gathers the information both from the uh, sensor and actuator and it will uh, control the, uh, con the complete control objective of the SANET. So nodes in a SANET may be stationary or it may be mobile. So also a single node uh, can be act as a both sensing and a, uh, actuation uh, capabilities. So, this is the basic uh, structure of a SANET. Uh, this, uh, this figure shows the 
interaction amongst the various components of a sanit so in this figure base stations and actuators sense sensing or control request to sensors sensors uh, actually send data or control information to base stations and actuators also so actuators may initiate the actions uh, autonomously or upon the reception of the uh, actuation request from the base station and actuators send control information to the base station also so you can see that uh, the relation between sensor sensor gives data or control information to actuator then actuator it's communicating with the uh, base station and base station uh, sensing or control request is given to again sensor so that is a loop you can see that uh, similar way actuators uh, giving sensing or control request to the sensors also so sensors uh, giving uh, data or control information to actuator and sensing request is given from actuator to sensors so all this uh, data flows you can see uh, in the, in the direction given here and you can see the bottom part uh, uh, the if uh, if some some action are taken place means that if a temperature uh, is increased to a particular value then actual uh, change will be uh, uh, compared and that change is again given to given back to the sensor uh, so the bottom part is a, is a is like automatic control system Uh, if 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 a temperature sanity is there means if we need to sense reduce the uh, temperature then that particular command is given then the actual temperature and the reference temperature as a compared and it is given to uh, the the uh, the changes uh, occur in the temperature is again sensed by sensor then that data is given to the actuator so etc this is a is like a automatic control system so this is uh, this particular figure shows a block schematic in which various interaction between sensor base station and the actuators are uh, shown uh, and a sensor node what do you mean by a sensor node means a sensor node typically consists of a power unit a microprocessor a storage resources in a communication module communication module means receiver or transmit transmitter it will consist of a transmit trans transmitter and receiver and uh, one or more sensing unit will be there and an analog to analog to digital uh, converter adc so sensing unit adc uh, processor storage a communication unit and a power unit that is what is a, a, a sensor unit uh, then an actuator so the in this particular sensor unit adc convert analog data to digit collected by the sensing unit into digital data which is then analyzed by a processor and possibly transmitted to the uh, base station or other nodes nodes communicate wirelessly so each node communicate directly with a few other nodes within its uh, uh, radio communications are occurring so a node may also transmit uh, uh, to distance node through a multi channel communication so a sensing unit uh, consists of uh, this much uh, part an actuator uh, node uh, consists of a power unit again a microprocessor storage resources a trans receiver and a controller uh, it here uh, one additional thing is a controller which which actually the uh, decision maker or decision unit so a digital to analog converter also will be present here it will convert a digital to analog and a automation or, or, or actuation unit so the controller take the sensor reading as uh, its input and it generate action command as output and uh, the dac then convert this action command into analog signals that are translated into actions by the actuation unit so this is what is the 
नोड सो ए सेंसर नोड सो द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए सैनट एंड इट्स इंट्रैक्शन इन सैड इन ए सैनट एंड ए बेसिक ब्लॉक्स की मैटिंग ऑफ ए सेंसर नोड एंड एक्चुअल नोड एंड इट्स फंगशनलिटी शुड बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन केस ऑफ सैनट then we are going to discuss about uh, smart substation smart substation so so as we we are discussing about smart grid so uh, the development of a smart substation is a part of a smart grid so uh, we, uh, the smart egg substation become a smart substation through collecting the wide area real time information Uh, of whole grid operation data and it will uh, enable the self uh, adaptive control protection etc so um, compared with the traditional substations smart substation achieve the intelligent uh, management of substation equipments by advanced type of data analysis Uh, processing methods uh, based on the advanced sensor technologies so the integration of primary and secondary equipment is realized through uh, intelligent uh, uh, reforming traditional methods uh, with the electronic instrument transformers not uh, conventional current transformers or uh, potential transformers and uh, other uh, intelligent monitoring uh, devices so in a smart substation iec 61850 uh, uh, provides a unified information model and uh, uh, interface standard for the substation automation system so based on the unified standard advanced applications for the management and control unit of a substation can be realized uh, by integrating and uh, reusing the various intelligent information gathered in the substation so uh, this uh, smart substation will uh, utilizing the benefit of digital protection control and communication technologies and some of the advantages are it will reduce the copper cables usage of cables so most of the data are communicated through wireless and we are using lot of intelligent sensors so you can reduce the copper cables by up to 80% that is a big advantage in a smart substation and material used can be reduced uh, the uh, it, it it will be 30 tons less the less material compared to the conventional substation then shorter outage times increase utility revenues so you can simply find out the the uh, complete monitoring digital monitoring is possible so that the outage time is very less compared to the conventional substation so that you can increase the utility revenues and the operational cost also everything is become automatic so substation automation makes lower uh, operational uh, cost and the space requirement also reduced the material is reduced so 30 to 60 percentage reduced space for protection and control panels is required on then higher integration of control and protection functionality allows for the further space reduction reduction of switch yard footprint by up to 50 percentage by using circuit breakers with the integrated disconnecting functionality and optical current transformers so and a high function integration in relay room and switch yard enables again space reduction so uh, material reduction space reduction and low operational cost there are many uh, uh, advantages for a uh, smart substation compared to the uh, conventional uh, substation and you can see Uh, IEC 61850 substation architecture here so this uh, consists of uh, basically three layer so three layers and two network so architecture framework 
to enable substation information digitization and the advanced application function so this particular uh, architecture is known as iec61850 substation architecture so the three layers refers to the equipment configuration of station control layer then bay layer and process layer you can see the three layers and various instruments in process layer we can see merging unit voltage current transformer switch gear assembly intelligent terminals etc and bay layer you can see measurement devices protection devices control devices fault recorder etc then substation layer substation area control time synchronization server or workstation communication system etc so there are three layers in the system uh and uh, these uh, uh, three layers are uh, you can explain these three layer first uh, a process layer you can see the bottom as a process layer so in traditional smart substations the intelligent terminal uh, or known as it and that merging unit are the main equipment of the process layer you can see intelligent terminal and merging unit you can see in this particular architecture so this it intelligent terminal is used for devices status acquisition and remote command execution and merging unit is mainly used for digital consolidation uh, processing and protocol conversion functions so these two are the main component in a process layer then bay layer Uh, conventional uh, uh, smart substation uh, the station area protection uh, monitoring control fault control fault recorder power quality recording online monitoring and other functions are achieved via different discrete devices in this layer the main functions in the uh, uh, bay layer are to uh, achieve the uh, various functionalities such as protection monitoring control fault recording power quality monitoring online monitoring and uh, some other functions also achieved in bay layer using different discrete digital devices then substation layer uh, mainly provides the man machine contact interface the, that that is a Uh, main contact with the human being uh, forming all equipment uh, operation control and management functions of the substations are in substation layer and uh, we are using various types of uh, uh, communication uh, in iec 61850 protocol main communications technologies in a 61850 protocols are first one is mms that is manufacturing message specification so information regarding the substation status used for monitoring is sent using mms protocol then goose protocol or generic object oriented substation events so critical data such as uh, warning and control signals are sent using goose protocol then smv Uh, power line voltages and current measurements are sent using uh, this kind of uh, uh, smv protocol so these are the uh, uh, various types of uh, uh, communication protocol used in the uh, uh, iec 61850 uh, architecture Uh, this smv means uh, sampled measured values the sampled measured values that that is used for uh, power line voltage and current measurement are sent using this smv protocol so this is the same architecture in a, uh, this is another representation more clear uh, more clear uh, uh, colorful picture is shown here here also you can see the uh, process layer station bus and uh, uh, bay layer etc so you can see the merging unit optical uh, current transformer and uh, 
potential transformers and in some cases uh, uh, integrated uh, smart substations are used in that uh, uh, process layer will consist of a IT units are intelligent terminals which are integrated together. So integrated intelligent uh, terminal replaces the traditional uh, merging unit and IT equipment. The merging unit and the IT equipment are replaced by a single one. It is known as integrated intelligent terminal IIT which replaces the merging unit and IT equipment used in the conventional substations. So the IAT is installed in the vicinity of primary equipment where it is able to acquire the desired information of the main uh, equipment. So in this in the process layer the sampled value network and the generic object oriented substation even goose network are merged into one optical fiber network and accomplish information acquisition and control operation. So in earlier uh, sub, uh, smart substation we using it as this is for different purposes. Now it is merged into a single optical fiber network and ac accomplish the information uh, ac acquisition and the control operation. Then Bay layer integrated station area protection measurement and control master devices. Uh, which will uh, implement all the functions in a traditional smart bay so uh, in the some of the equipment or most of the equipments in a distributed manner in a smart substation it, now it is integrated to make a uh, it can re again reduce the uh, entire structure uh, architecture and substation layer is uh, no, uh, here it is known as integrated information platform iip so this is a advanced version of a smart uh, substation and uh, such integrated uh, smart substation uh, schematics is shown here you can just refer this one here also you can see a process layer bay layer and a substation layer mm. in the first part is uh, now our uh, uh, you can see that uh, uh, our conventional uh, uh, smart substation now it is integrated to uh, as an integrated smart substation you can see the right side uh, right side uh, uh, you are merging in the left from the left side et you are merging unit and it are merged and now it become integrated intelligent terminal unit then you are in a bay layer protection device measurement and control device fault record and network analysis station domain control everything is merged and now integrated make it a integrated master devices imd now it become integrated master devices then substation layer five prevention system auxiliary uh, uh, system state detection monitoring everything is merged now it become integrated information platform and uh, so you can see that in your process layer now there is no merging unit or in IT unit now it is integrated intelligent terminal unit that is IIT then in your bay layer now it is integrated master device IMD in your substation layer now it is integrated information platform so the integrated smart substation is a new advanced version of a uh, conventional smart substation you can refer this thing also these are taken from some of the uh, latest papers so you can go through it also and uh, so you can see a comparison of conventional and digital substation here and this is taken from a uh, abb technical note you can see a lot of uh, digital substation lot of uh, wires are reduced and uh, uh, you can see that in a conventional wire, uh, system there are lot of cables are using now digital substation the you cannot see such kind of a bundle of uh, cables so digital substation reduces cabling need less space and increases the uh, safety uh, and in case of a substation automation uh, you can classify it as switchyard substation uh, at a generating station connect which connect the 
generators to the utility grid and also provide off-site power to the plant. Uh, then customer substation functions as the main source of electric power supply for one particular business customer. Then system substation involves the transfer of bulk power across the network. Some of those stations provide only switching facilities. So whereas others perform voltage conversion as well. Then distribution substations are the most common facilities in the electrical power systems and provide the uh, distribution circuit that directly supply the most customers. So these are the some of the different types of uh, substations that comes under uh, substation uh, automation. And uh, and you can go through uh, the latest papers for referring in the uh, latest trends in the substation uh, automation.